cannot tell if we're live. Uh, okay, it looks like we're live on Twitch. I wish it would tell me that I'm live on my uh, Restream software. But regardless, what's up everybody? How's it going? Here we go. Uh, welcome to the Autoblog live stream. My name is Eric. I'm the multimedia producer here at Autoblog. And every Tuesday and Thursday, we hop on Twitch and YouTube. And we stream racing and driving games. And today... We're going to be doing Forza Motorsport 7 because I'm extremely bored with Forza Horizon 4. <laughs> uh, so I needed to switch it up. So we're doing Motorsport 7 today. Um, I just realized I forgot to put the video on the autoblog.com home page so I'm doing that right now if I didn't mention this is the official live stream of autoblog.com wow literally no no technology that I have used today has worked well it's been one of those days I'm not having a great day um, but hopefully we can win some races here and turn it around. <laughs> MD Production says this is an old school. I mean, it is by now, right? What is this, like three years old, four years old? That's old school. <laughs> MD, what do you think about the new Rocket League updates? Because I'm not going to lie, I kind of hate almost every single one. I did a, a, a crazy 180. I liked them, and then I feel like I hate all of them now. We will be playing Rocket League on Thursday, so coin flip on whether or not I'm going to be into it or absolutely hate it. MD says, I'm indifferent right now. I haven't tried enough of it. All I know, and I tried to find the, like, I tried to find where I saw this. Um, oh, by the way, my audio looks, is the audio balance okay? It Like, is the game noise too loud? Let me know if the game noise is too loud. I can turn it down a little bit. Um, but, uh, so I could have sworn... I saw somewhere that because they added the new ranks that it, it potentially was going to push everybody like downward a little bit. I don't really understand why, but I have this memory that I saw something like that. And so far, since I've played Rocket League, since the new update, I have lost like 14 or 15 games in a row in ones in like low plat ones and ones is probably what I'm best at so that is uh not exciting for me <laughs> at all uh I don't like that at all if it's really that drastic of a rank change that's pretty dumb IMO Oh, you know what? I just realized. Oh, actually. Yep. My television is on the wrong input setting. Just wondering why things seemed particularly laggy. Here we go. This should be better. You guys can't hear the game at all. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, I don't understand how no game sound can be coming through. It says it's, I'm looking at it. I hate technology so much. There's literally nothing in the world that I hate more than technology. I mean... I don't really know what I can do here here I guess I'll try this but I don't think this is gonna work Okay, how about now? If there's any game sound at all, I'll be happy. nothing that's cool that's real cool uh maybe now I have no clue, guys. But I really don't want to do this whole two-hour stream with just me mouth-breathing into a microphone. It's back? Okay, good. Hopefully this will be acceptable. I can readjust levels and whatnot if we need to. As much as I like Project Cars 3, it is hilarious how this game this like three or four year old game has like a billion times better graphics than project cars 3 it is literally not even close are useless. Also, this engine sound sounds so aggressive for this vehicle. Maybe it's accurate. I'm sure it is.
MD says, if Forts, oh. if Forts ever came to Steam, I'd get it. I just don't want to buy it from the Microsoft store. Why is that? I feel like in my brief period of owning a PC, I mean, I'm all in on literally every launcher. I get my free game every week from the Epic Games Store. I got a handful of stuff on Steam. I have Game Pass, obviously, so I download uh, all the Game Pass games through the Xbox Store. I bought, I bought some games from the Ubisoft launcher. All over the place. I feel like that's the way to be. I'm like giving that many accounts. Come on. It's worth it. I mean, I guess maybe it's not worth it if only you want Forza. But I would recommend nobody should ever buy a first-party Microsoft game ever again and just get Game Pass. <laughs> and which, shout out to uh, Bethesda games are now first-party Microsoft games. Who would have thought that? Not me. Not me. I think it's so cute that people think those aren't going to be Xbox exclusives. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. They for sure will be. You don't spend $7.5 billion on a property to not make it a competitive advantage. Uh, but funny enough, I don't really play a whole lot of like Bethesda games. and uh, It's not just Bethesda. It's like ID Software, which I do play Doom. I'm a big fan of Doom, but that's like the only one. I've never played Skyrim. I know I should. Everybody gets mad at me when I say that. I'll play the next one, probably. But I'm definitely excited for those to just pop up on my uh, Game Pass subscription. That is for sure. Lucky Girl's here. What's up, Lucky Girl? I see Ray M as well. What's up, Ray? Mm, I do not think I'm going to catch this guy for first place. Thuggish Dan. Got me. Close. Um, MD Oh, MD says... Honestly, you can go without playing Skyrim. Oh, hot take. I feel like I've played... And again, like, big Skyrim people are going to be really mad at me for saying this. <laughs> I feel like you might agree with me, MD. I feel like I've played enough open-world adventure RPGs to where, like, I get it. I'm sure Skyrim's really good. But I'm also sure it's nearly identical to every other game in the genre. <laughs> so, again, I know that might upset some people, but come on, let's be real here. Ray said good race. Thank you, Ray. Sorry I'm so low energy right now, guys. I'm trying to get hyped up. It's just one of those days. It's getting dark. Be careful out there. Oh, it's getting dark. Okay, we having a nighttime race. <laughs> MD said, it's not a bad game, but definitely overhyped. Considering it got released like five different times. Totally. No, yeah. And, and I didn't mean to Im imply, and I don't think you were implying either. Um that, that it, it was a bad game for sure. I know it's a good game. But it's also an extremely old game by this point. And I feel like there's a lot... I feel like if I wanted to scratch that huge open world fantasy itch at this point, I'd probably just go Witcher 3. I don't know if i go all the way back to Skyrim. Or like I said, more likely. I'm not going to have time to do that at all. So I'm probably just going to wait until the next Elder Scrolls game. But I do think there's a really good chance I'll go in on the next one. And I'm sure I'll love it.
I don't even. Why did I break? I was fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Ray M says, PC gaming is new to me. Me too, Ray, actually. I just got, I'm currently playing on an Xbox right now. Um, but I just built a PC like in the past month or two. And uh, I've been really enjoying it, but it's a brand. I've been a Mac guy my whole life too. My God, Windows sucks. I don't know how anybody uses it on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I would never if I didn't have to for gaming, but other than that, it's been really, uh, nice. I've, uh, really enjoyed the new gaming PC. I'm glad that I put it together. What, uh, what games have you been playing on the, on the new PC, Ray? That's Kelly. That's a calculated move all day. Lucky Girl says, NBA 2K21 on next-gen consoles will feature a customizable female My Career player. That's great. It's uh, pretty embarrassing for them that that didn't already exist, but, you know, better late than never, I guess. We need to start doing this stuff. It's insane. It cannot possibly be difficult from a development perspective. So I'm really glad to hear that they're doing that. That's good. I might have misread that. That's only happening on the next gen consoles? That's idiotic, still. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. They can't do it for. Oh my god, that's so annoying. That's actually so annoying. I mean, I'm glad they're doing it. <sighs> but just bare minimum effort. That's, that's really dumb. be in every version of the game. Um, MD says, do you have Rocket League on PC? I do, MD. I've been playing it almost uh, solely on PC for the past month or so, but I really haven't played like a ton of it. I'm Well, I mean, I have, but for me, I haven't. I, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I've probably put like 30 hours in, but that's not. <laughs> those are rookie numbers. You gotta pump those numbers up. Um, but I do like it on PC. It is definitely a very different experience. Rocket League, specifically, is a very different experience on PC, and I like it a lot. And I do wonder if. Um, because most of my playing in the past few days that I've just been getting crushed is I jump, I uh, jumped back to Xbox to actually record some videos for the autoblog.com YouTube channel. If anybody's curious, one of them is up. It's how to sign in with your Epic Games account and merge your accounts. So if anybody's interested on how to do that in Rocket League, uh, that video is up on our YouTube channel. And then coming tomorrow is going to be uh, the first settings you should change when hopping into Rocket League for the first time. I'm a big believer in some of the default settings are completely crazy. I don't know why they're the defaults. Um, so I made a little video on what you should change that will hopefully help you rank up a lot faster if you're just trying to get into Rocket League. Now that it's going to be free to play starting tomorrow. Um... Ray said, nah, I'm thinking of the new, I'm thinking of getting the new air pad and gaming on that. I don't have a console. Do you mean, what's an air pad? 
Do you mean an iPad Air? If so, I love, I love uh, calling it an AirPad. <laughs> um, Lucky Girl said, at least this time they're actually putting um, used to women in basketball. On NBA 2K20, it's pretty much useless because there's a WNBA season, but you can't even make a female character, nor can you modify the WNBA characters. Uh, besides that, NBA 2K20 is a pretty good game. I actually played a bit of uh, 2K20. I've never gotten into any of the 2K games, really, or really any basketball video games. Um, the only, like, sport video game I ever got into was NHL. Um, but I remember really liking uh, 2K20 when I played a bit. But, yeah, they gotta just... I, like, it seems so nonsensical to me. Like, it's gotta be, like, the, the flip of a button. Just add female customization. It's ex It cannot be hard. It cannot be hard. Do it in every game. If you can be a guy in a game, you can be a girl in a game. That's how it, well, that's how it should be. It's ridiculous that every game isn't like that. Uh... MD says, yeah, that input lag is killer coming over. It, like, it's so weird, dude, because, like, I don't even consciously perceive it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I couldn't tell you what's different, but I just play infinitely worse on console. <laughs> Super weird. Uh, also, what is up? Just my AMG. How's it going? I cannot wait to be done with this uh, championship here, because I do not like this car at all. The feel of it, anyways. Lucky Girl said, exactly. I've been wondering why it took them that long to add female basketball players. It makes literally no logical sense. I mean, well, it does make logical sense because everyone in their... Uh, I was going to say everyone and their mom is sexist, but that's kind of ironic. But you know but you know what I mean. It's just like... These systematic issues, man. They need to be destroyed. And they will be one day, I hope. But it's taking too long. Way too long. This is a cool track. I'm, I am a big fan of uh, the track I'm racing right now. I wasn't paying attention to where it was. Prague? Looks like Prague. I just feel so heavy.
Jeez, first place is way ahead. This is still the first. Wow. Okay. Long lap time here. Get out of my way. Disturb the Danish. MD says, literally all that problem is, is the input lag on console. I have to, I consciously have to slow down. Whoa. I mean, that's what I get for trying to read and, uh, and race. Uh, MD says, I consciously have to slow down my button inputs when I play on console. Um, and Ray was indeed referring to the iPad Air. I love it. The Air Pad. Do a bit of gaming on my iPad. Not a ton, but a little. I do more reading on my iPad. Like uh, my iPad is mostly like a comic book machine and like manga machine. I be able to catch this guy? That is the question. Yep, this guy's done. MD says, also, as far as getting forts is concerned, I'm going to wait till FMA drops. Totally fair. Absolutely fair. Lucky Girl said, mostly everyone's explanation behind being sexist is because supposedly WNBA isn't competitive and all they do is layups. Like, no, that's not true at all. They shoot the ball too. Yeah, yeah, it's a, uh, yeah. It doesn't make any sense. At all. Um. <laughs> yes, Ray, for sure. Very heavy around the corners. Very heavy around the corners. I'm excited to switch up the car for the next uh, for this next championship here. No, I got one more race, I guess. One more race in this uh, in this championship. So that's okay. It's gonna be the last one. Not of the stream, just of this championship.
right. Race 505. Oh my god. Alright. I'll take it. It should be extremely doable. I don't know if you guys heard, and uh, somebody please correct me if I get the details wrong, but I saw that like Michael Jordan is about to be a NASCAR team owner with Denny Hamlin or something. Uh, that's pretty awesome, speaking of basketball. Lucky Girl says, this past Friday, I got the Hot Wheels World Race. <laughs> I got to pay attention. Uh, Lucky Girl said, this past Friday, I got the Hot Wheels World Race game for PS2. Nice. How do you like it? I hope it's fun. I assume it would be. Shadow Lights. Shadow Lights here. What's up, Shadow Light? And Tommy M is here as well. Tommy M said, Bubba, Bubba Wallace is the driver. Did I not say that? I meant to say that. But, but yeah, it's just, it's just uh, kind of sick to see Michael Jordan get involved in NASCAR. That's just a, that's a collab I never thought I'd see. says Monza is such a boring track to race on. Is that the one I'm on right now? I assume it is because I've been able to read a fair amount of chat without getting myself into too much trouble here. <laughs> Which must mean it's pretty boring. But that's okay because I'm definitely going to get a win here. I'll take it. Take all the wins I can get. Whoa. <laughs> Lucky Girl says I have not played it yet. I know I do that all the time. I'll buy a game like if it's like on sale. I'll be like, I'll, I'm definitely going to play this in the next week. And then I don't play it for another three months. <laughs> if that. I, buy, I mentioned earlier uh, I bought a bunch of games from the uh, Ubisoft store. And it's, I say a bunch, it was like five games. And the only reason I did is because they were like $2 a piece. I got all the original Prince of Persia's, which are all amazing games. And then I got uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, because that is my favorite Assassin's Creed game. And I wanted to play it on PC, of 
played it on Xbox, but definitely want to play that on PC. That game is incredible. MD described the track uh, perfectly. Three long straights connected by a few chicanes and corners. All right, good stuff. Switch the car here. Another trip to the podium. Fantastic work. It's a hundred thousand dollar discount, but it's that's still pretty expensive. I want to buy it. Who cares? like all new ah, I'm not sure what police car bowling is but I'm interested top gear sponsored bowling with a car come on that's easy right you just want to make the car as wide as possible and 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 how it's wide is when it's sideways so bowling if you're gonna bowl first of all we, you need speed and you need to be completely sideways said also another thing that might interest you about the crew too is that there are touring cars and f1 cars in there so you can race on multiple different tracks uh with them and it's pretty fun nice well i'm messing this up horribly already Wait a minute. Do I just... I'm so, I'm so confused. Is there like a time limit? Like, can I just take my time and hit every one? And are the, are the, like, the yellow gold ones worth more? And just the normal ones? Yeah, they've got to be. Oh, these are all pins? Oh my god. I don't get how this is a challenge if there's no time limit, though. You just drive around hitting pins? Anybody can do this. There might... Are there combo scores? There might be, like, combo scores. This is not, this is extremely disappointing. I thought this was gonna be way more fun. This is nothing. 
This is literally nothing. This is a nothing mode. That was probably the dumbest Forza event I've ever done. Um, okay, so Lucky Girl says, Another thing that might interest you about the crew, too, I'm, I might have read this already, is, it, uh, yeah, yeah, the touring cars and F1 cars. So, I saw, like, uh, they, like, announced, like, seasons for the crew, too, as well. And you might have been, you might have uh, been telling me this on a previous stream, too. But I didn't really get it because I didn't. I never played the crew too. But it seems, uh, it seems cool. Uh, MD says the crew two is fun with people, but boring by yourself. But Lucky Girl disagrees. Says I think it's fun by myself too. Uh, just driving around and racing is fun to me. And then she says, then again, my favorite game of all time, Midnight Club Three Dub Addiction Remix is an old arcade racer from 2005 that I had online, but I just play by myself. I do, uh, that's my move as well, a lot of the times. Whenever there's like an online game, there's a good chance I'm just gonna try to solo it. Um, continue. No, I have literally no interest in doing police car bowling ever again. Do a real race. Sport Coupe. These I like the sound of that. Rear wheel drive cars are built with one goal in mind. Driving hard and fast on the street and on the track. Mm. Michael, Lo ooh, the Jag's not bad. I'm gonna go Jag. I feel like I uh, n normally wouldn't, so I'm gonna do it today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do the Brit. Ooh. Oh, man. There's a few cool ones. I wasn't prepared for this many cool ones. Actually, this one's cleaner. Let's go this one. Groovy, baby. 225. MD says, Midnight Club 3 Dub Addiction Remix is high on my list, but it gets beat out by Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. I have never played, actually, either one of those games. I played Midnight Club 2, which I really liked a lot. Uh, but I don't think I ever played 3 or Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. MD says, since when was a TT rear-wheel drive? I must have, I was clearly not paying attention to whatever you are referring to, so I apologize. Um, <laughs> just my AMG approves of the Jag selection. And uh, MD is very upset that I've never played Hot Pursuit 2. <laughs> it is true. It is true. I played my, um, 
Oh god, I can't even think of the name. Wow, I'm totally blanking on like the big one. I obviously play Gran Turismo uh, 1 and 2 a lot. Um, but there was one. It was on GameCube. I played the crap out of it on GameCube. And I feel like it has a name similar to Midnight Club, but it was not Midnight Club. And I am just 100% blank. <laughs> to think you played Heat, but not Hot Pursuit 2. Yeah, Heat was an extremely mediocre game to me. I, well, well, mediocre is maybe not fair. Like, it was good. It just was, like, generic. Like, you could play that game for 10 minutes and be like, I get it. There's no need to play this anymore. I feel that way about uh, probably the majority of racing games, to be honest. There's not enough differentiation. It was Need for Speed Underground 2. That was the one I played the crap out of. It just came to me. <laughs> MD's going to do some research. Lucky Girl says, I gotta try Midnight Club 3 as well. Which I believe, like, I, be yeah, I believe all these games are good. It's just too many games and not enough time. Way too many games. I have a backlog of probably like 200 games I'm gonna play that I'm never gonna play. I am playing. Here's a here's an old 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 school game. I am playing Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo right now that's like my main game i've been playing because i love zelda and that is i'm pretty sure the only game that i've never played and everybody tells me it's amazing i mean everybody tells me you know what i mean like i see online it's amazing um and it is so far it's really good it's pretty much just 2d ocarina of time from what i can tell which is great because ocarina of time was great
Uh, MD says, confirmed, Forza's drunk. That is a fact. Did you guys see any of the clips of... It wasn't just Shia LaBeouf, but it was Shia LaBeouf and a bunch of actors doing, like, a read over Zoom or something. Uh, I don't even know. I think it's, like, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. It's the movie where Matthew McConaughey was like, all right, all right, all right, that movie. And they were doing, like, a read of it. And Shia LaBeouf is way clearly wasted. And it is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my entire life. You guys should definitely look it up. Lucky Girl says, Need for Speed devs have a problem. They think it's still their early days where they can release a game, then have no after-launch support. Uh, sorry, EA, it is not like that anymore. Now, maybe if they still made games like they did Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005, then sure, maybe they could just put out the disc and have no updates. But their games are not on that level anymore. And then MD says, uh, the problem is Black Box doesn't exist anymore, which I can only assume is the developer that made uh, all the really good Need for Speed games. And then MD says, but yeah, Forza's drunk. No TTs were ever rear-wheel drive. So why are they showing his rear-wheel drive here? Unless they got swapped in the game is beyond me. Um, MD says, no, I have not seen the, uh, the Shia LaBeouf thing, but I got to see it now. So thanks. And Lucky Girl says, also, FH4 is getting an amazing update this Thursday. And I'm so excited for it. Two new Lexus cars, a Formula Drift Nissan 370Z, and the Toyota GT86. Nice. That is exciting. Um, also, I've got a pee, guys. So I will BRB. Give me uh, one second.
so that's what I missed. So MD says, for context, the narrator for the Sport Coupe class mentioned this being a class for rear-wheel drive cars, and the TTRS was there. So I had to make sure I wasn't remembering wrong information. Yeah, I was uh, clearly not paying attention to the narrator there. I'm trying my best to be more high energy, guys. It's not happening. At least the audio is working now, though. Virginia International Raceway. Let's do it. I, I should have I should have rewound that. Start losing my mind soon.
I waited. Wait. I could not tell you what it is about this track, but this has got to be my least favorite track in this game so far. I hate this so much. I don't know why. I feel like it's not fun to look at. It's not fun to drive. Could just be I just don't like the car that much on this track. Like, what is, uh, there's one hotel in this 10 mile radius, there's like a log cabin. Oh god, I suck. I'm falling apart, I'm falling apart. I am literally falling apart. Not enjoyable. I did not enjoy that. Lucky Girl is shouting out the uh, the song Real Big by Manny Fresh. I'm gonna have to check that out. my AMG says the Jag handles very well. It's certainly way better than the last one I was using. I'm just uh, bad at every racing game. Maple Valley. We're racing through a cider mill here. <laughs> I 
Lucky Girl throwing some shade at Maseratis. What do you got against Maserati? Lucky Girl said, what's the difference between a bad car and a Maserati? There is no difference. That is so, that's such a crazy shot against Maseratis out of nowhere. It's from the clouds. Much bigger fan of this track. Really. like whatever that is. I guess it's a bridge. I don't think. Cool design. said to drink a soda. But I don't have any soda here. Oh, no, I gotta itch my face. 
face. I I suck. Wow, I'm about to lap these guys? What Almost lost it, but I did not. Good. Lucky girl said, Maseratis are... <laughs> Maseratis are unreliable, cheaply made, and the technology in their cars is so far behind. No wonder they depreciate so quickly. Where's this Maserati hate coming from? Just came out of nowhere completely unprompted i like to imagine that you just walk into a room and like the first thing you say to somebody is like hey you like maseratis <laughs> yeah then you're a moron <laughs> oh man i respect it though definitely allowed to hate maseratis hate them all you want i have no opinion really i think they're probably fine but but also, I, uh, I, I will agree with Lucky Girl's perspective, because I don't have a perspective of my own. So I will say they are unreliable and cheaply made. They need to upgrade their tech. Uh, Lucky Girl says, in the Crew 2, there's no rubber banding. Now, I go back and forth on whether or not I like rubber banding. I feel like it's okay, but only if it's done... Well, like, only if it's not really annoying. Um, Patrick's here. What's up, Patrick? Patrick's at old school. Indeed. <laughs> uh, just my AMG says, I did like the Quattroporte 2012. I'm not even sure I can't uh, recall what that looks like. But I will Google it after this. The lucky girl said, I don't know why I said that. I just felt like saying it. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you got to get some Maserati hate off your chest. It happens. It happens to all of us. Sometimes you're just, you know, playing a video game. And these intrusive Maserati thoughts just pop into your head. It does happen. Wow, literally not even close.
I'm not the biggest fan of the look of this track either. Oh, I guess this is because... This is some kind of a uh, road course here. But I was not paying attention as usual. But I think I prefer the tracks where it's kind of like, it's like a nature Like there's something going on in the back. I mean, I guess this is this is stuff going on, obviously. But I prefer like the nature. Ones. That's probably why I'm a big fan of uh, the WRC games and stuff like that. Wow, this guy is right on my tail. Oh, hey, fake Patrick. The uh, Patrick's drive guitar went into the pits. Not sure why. I really love the look of this uh, Jag, though. The, uh, this is called the Union Jack, right? I could be wrong there. I think it's a Union Jack flag. Wow, I think, uh, I think this guy's going to take first from me. Yup. Oh, whoa. I thought I was going to nail that wall for sure. Yup. Dang. That's right. I'll take second. Um... See, Patrick says, dead by the daylight. What does that mean, Patrick? It's my MG says, very nice looking sedan. Patrick says, I tried it out. Is that a game? Dead by the daylight? A Prime says, turn off the racing lines. No. Um, I, I just, if I did, I, uh, probably would find this game to be unplayable because I'm super bad at racing games. Uh, Patrick says, describe it in one word. Wait, I didn't hear what you said. 
I was talking about the gameplay of Dead by Daylight. I have never heard of this game before, Patrick, so I cannot describe it in one word. My one word would be, huh? Because I don't know, I don't know what that game is. Tommy M says yes. A zero credits, that's what I like to see. Patrick said, oh, it's a brutal game. Okay, I'm interested. I wish every single one of these championships wasn't like five or six races long. I get so bored after like the first one, I'm ready to move on. There's no reason these need to be six long. And what even are mods? I forgot these existed. I don't... Sure. Oh, it's on Game Pass! I'm becoming more interested all the time. What's it, uh, what is it, is it like a, you said it's a horror game, I assume it's like a zombie game? Ah, Patrick said the mods give you more credits based on the challenge. Okay. I just didn't understand. It, it said, like, clear, like, the mod was called, like, clear racing or whatever. But then the little thing said race in the rain. So I don't know what that means. But can I only use it on races where it's about to rain? If that's true, how do I even know when that's going to happen? I'm sure there's a way, but... As you guys know, I don't really care for all the uh, stuff that is not actual gameplay in really any game at all. So I probably missed it. Look at that Ferris wheel. It's looking like an AMD processor fan. All the light switching.
Oh, I got distracted by the fireworks. I almost did again. I just, I hate how slow, like, 40 miles an hour feels when you are, uh, when you're taking those turns. There's one thing I hope they improve for the next iteration of this game, is it, it, it just feels slow. None of this has felt fast to me at all, and that's not good. Like, if I wasn't streaming, I would have quit playing this game an hour ago. <laughs> Patrick said, Michael Jordan's creating a NASCAR team with Denny Hamlin. I saw. We talked about that a little earlier in the stream. This is very cool. This is uh, very, very cool. Just my AMG. It says, Has a, "Have a nice day, all." You too. Just my AMG. Thanks for hanging out, as always. Lucky girl said, "Yep, Forza needs to bring back the sense of speed in Forza games. Totally. Like it should not feel like I'm going two miles an hour when I'm going 40. <laughs> That's not great." Clouds rolling in. Get ready for a wet track. Okay, rain clouds rolling in. I have one. Oh. I guess I'll probably do the rare one. Can I do both? Can I stack them? I can! 90 plus 90% 90 credits. Okay. says in heat 5 I unlocked the 50,000 horsepower when someone lagged into me hard getting around the leader easily <laughs> what that sounds like quite the clip
that wasn't good. <laughs> no, gotta rewind. Up. That is the most calculated move of all time. I'm not sure how my split time was worse there, but. Nope, 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 nope. Not even gonna risk it. Like, 50 mi- There's- It just feels so slow! You gotta feel faster for it. I think I got this one in the bag. Oh, 
Oh, Patrick said he hit over 250 in E5. That is ridiculously fast. I wish I could hit that in this game. You probably can in, in one or maybe a few cars in this game. I'm not sure. Wow, I thought I screwed myself there. mods on, so hopefully I'll get a bunch of credits. Oh, well there you go. Patrick says there's an achievement where you have to go, where you have to go over 250 in this game. to stand out from the pack. Congratulations on another podium finish. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of hoping I would get a little more than that, but that's okay. See the word rally. Okay, hopefully this will be more uh, more my speed, pun intended. As it is on week-long cross-country rally stages, and when you have a car this rugged, it's no surprise that some of its biggest name drivers come from the extreme sports world. Ooh, okay, I'm psyched for this. You guys know I'm a fan of the rallying. The Maple Valley again. This time in the rain. Cool bridge. No, stay on the track. It's 
So as suspected, this is definitely my favorite car that I've driven today. Virtually driven. And there's no doubt in my mind I'm going to win this. Trying to get a little risky there. Didn't work out. Patrick said, I changed my Xbox Gamer pick. Check it out. I will check it out after the stream, Patrick. Because as you know, I'm trying not to pull up friends lists and stuff. Because uh, I don't want to unintentionally dox anyone. Is it SpongeBob related? Looks like we're going to have time for one more race. Hmm. 
Yeah, I feel like I've been buying the discounted car almost every time, so I will continue doing that. It's crazy to me that NASCAR doesn't do like an annual race in Dubai. soon. Not gonna do it racing like that. That's for sure.
am I going to be able to catch this last driver? I'm not going to get him, I don't think. Dang, yeah, I'm not. Bummer. Really close. Really, really close. Um... That is gonna do it for the stream. I just see I see Viper Deathblade 007 uh, says, "Why does this have less views in general compared to the older games?" Um, I don't know. Could just be there's more of a community around the older games. I assume you mean like on Twitch, but I'm I'm not sure. It could just be more of a community around the older games. I don't usually play this game. This is kind of a one-off. I was just kind of, uh, just kind of getting a little bored of Forza Horizon 4, so I wanted to switch it up. Um, but I don't know. Maybe people think the old ones are better. Who's to say? Uh, but uh, that is going to do it for the stream today. Thank you for watching and hanging out, everybody. Sorry, I was a little lower energy than usual today. I apologize. I will try to be more hyped up on Thursday. Hopefully I will be, because Thursday we're doing Rocket League, because Rocket League's going free to play tomorrow. Um, so yeah, should be a good time, but in the meantime, check out autoblog.com. This is the official autoblog.com uh, live stream. Uh, if you're unaware, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock Eastern Time, and we stream on Twitch and YouTube. You can also find, in addition to the website, obviously, you can also find us on social media. We've got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, we have a podcast. It's called the Autoblog Podcast. You can listen to that wherever podcasts are. Um, we have merch. It's at redbubble.com slash people slash autoblog. Or you can just search for autoblog on Redbubble. Or you can click the link. In our Twitch bio, we actually just added um, some really, really awesome jigsaw puzzles. Um, it's like car photography in the form of a jigsaw puzzle. It's pretty cool. Uh, we also have face masks. We have like coffee mugs. We have throw pillows. We have pretty much anything you could ever want on the uh, Autoblog merch store. So check that out if you are interested and then, uh, last but not least, I always like to end the stream by saying, um, if you are able to donate to a charity, uh, consider doing that right now. Just find one that you like, find one that you think really helps the world, and consider, um, consider donating to that charity. If you can't, one thing that actually I was doing last Thursday, um, I was... Putting in some volunteer time, you might have seen the uh, the message that we had up in lieu of the stream on Thursday. I chose to put my volunteer time into a place called Zooniverse. It's just the word universe, but with the word zoo instead. Uh, Z-O-O or Z-O-O if you're not American. Um, but uh, it's really cool. It's uh, lots of different project on projects on Zooniverse. It's like a volunteer thing. Um, there's literally no requirements or anything. It's just if you have 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you can go on there 
you can help out. They're, they're working on some really cool stuff. Um, so consider doing something like that too. Anything that we can do collectively to help improve the world, I think uh, that is good. But um, yeah, like I said, that's going to do it. So thank you for watching, everyone. Um, and we will see you on Thursday for Rocket League. So thanks.